According to an October 5th Boeing announcement, the U.S. Army has awarded a Boeing and General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems team a contract to develop a 300 kilowatt solid state laser weapon. This will be the most powerful laser to date. As per the statement, the program will eventually see the system being demonstrated to the U.S. Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office RCCTO. Viewers may note that the weapon is formally called the Distributed Gain High Energy Laser Weapon System or DGHELWS. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the new 300 kilowatt solid state laser weapon of the US Army is a technological leap. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The contract is to deliver a powerful but also compact prototype of the laser weapon. General Atomics will build the laser while Boeing will incorporate targeting and tracking tools and software, which allow the laser to detect and focus on a moving target. By focusing a beam of light on an object, the laser can potentially burn through it, provided that it has enough power and has enough time to focus its energy. Michael Perry, Vice President for Lasers and Advanced Sensors at General Atomics, stated, A 300 kilowatt HELWS high energy laser weapon system allows for successful engagement of a wide variety of air and missile defense threats, ranging from cruise missiles, manned aircraft, unmanned aircraft, and rockets slash artillery. The U.S. has already made some significant progress in this field. The laser weapon system, which the U.S. Navy deployed in the Persian Gulf in 2014, had a beam strength of 30 kilowatts. In several demonstrations, it was able to burn through the metal exterior of rockets, the wings of small flying drones, and the engine casing on a little boat. Another system called Helios, or High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance has been developed. Helios is a prototype developed by Lockheed Martin Corp with a reported range of about 5 nautical miles. The system has a power of 60 kilowatts but could eventually increase to 150 kilowatts. With 300 kilowatt power, the new laser will be powerful enough to destroy a range of threats, from small drones to cruise missiles. This has the potential to change the dynamics of a modern-day battlefield engagement. Scott Forney, President of General Atomics EMS, said in a statement, The high-power, compact laser weapon subsystem prototype that General Atomics EMS will deliver under this contract will produce a lethal output greater than anything fielded to date. This technology represents a leap ahead capability for air and missile defense that's necessary to support the Army's modernization efforts and defeat next generation threats in a multi domain battle space. Dr. Michael Perry, General Atomics Vice President for Lasers and Advanced Sensors, said the laser is a packaged version of the seventh generation design already demonstrated. He added, 
The laser system employs two Gen 7 laser heads in a very compact and lightweight package. Recent architectural improvements have enabled our single beam DG lasers to achieve comparable beam quality to fiber lasers in a very simple design without the need for beam combination. He stated the higher power is enabling for some targets. Specifically, it enables lethal fluence to be accumulated at the required range. For softer targets that can be destroyed with a lower power laser, the extra power can be used to increase the engagement range and or dwell time. Lasers are silent and invisible, which makes them very much suitable for use in certain scenarios. As evident, lasers have the advantage of being obscure, but there are other positives too. The speed of light enables them to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems, and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant as traditional weapons can run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of incoming threats and need to be reloaded amidst a raging battle. The cost is also expected to be much lesser compared to traditional weapons. For this program, the U.S. Army has teamed up with the Office of the Secretary of Defense. The first demonstration of the high-energy laser capability is expected in August 2022. Lieutenant General L. Neil Thurgood, the Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office's director, told Defense News in an interview at the AUSA event. He has stated that the funded effort will include a preliminary design review and a critical design review phase. The U.S. has been working with lasers for some time now and even experimentally deployed them on warships. These systems, as of now, are only capable of taking out relatively easy targets, like small boats, and that too at short ranges. The new system will be a significant advancement and being compact could potentially be installed in land, sea and air platforms in the future. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.